Yeah, guys, I was thinking that maybe we should do something after lunch. Yeah, yeah, I thought that that would be cool. Uh, guys, literally, all 40 of you, look at Carly. Look at her in that corner all by herself, looking like she is going to spiral. Right? Don't you think that maybe we should talk to her and do something? I was... Uh, um... You think that maybe we need to leave Carly alone because she is really going through something traumatic and personal? No, Carly! Carly, girlfriend! Hey, are you okay? Because it's okay to not be okay, right? Like all 40 people around you, we're your friends. And we really want to know what's going on with you right now and why you look so depressed. Um, you would rather not talk about it, otherwise you are going to spiral into a tornado of depression and you will start bawling your eyes out. Bottling things up never helps anyone, right? Yeah, I think that maybe you need to talk about it with all of us, right? Yeah, so tell us why you're not okay. Um, why are you showing me your fist? Yeah, dude, I will never forget the time that I had to turn down five women. Yeah, yeah, five women. Yeah, this was crazy. Yeah, and they were insanely drunk, too. Yeah, insanely drunk. Disgustingly drunk. Yeah, and honestly, this all happened in the same night. Yeah, the same night. Yeah, literally not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, five women. I turned them down. Disgustingly drunk. Same night. <laughs> yeah, so wild. Okay, so Jake, um, someone actually called in and told me that I had to reveal this, but apparently you didn't stop breastfeeding from your mother until you were seven years old. Is that, is that true? Because honestly, dude, I'm jealous. <laughs> Your mom is mad hot. Guys, I tell myself this all the time, but I swear I was born in the wrong generation. Like, who said it was okay for women to, like, have jobs now and, like, have, like, a career and, like, do things to, like, emotionally fulfill themselves and, like, allow them to, like, have fun? Like, right, yeah, I need, like, my women to, like, make me dinner and, like, breakfast in the morning and, like, obviously change my diaper and give me my binky when I cry. Women, dude. <laughs> How did I get in here? <laughs> well, it started when I was seven. One night, my mom put a bag over my head and then she strangled me, you know? I think she thought that I was the reason why my dad left her, you know? So if she couldn't have my dad, I couldn't either, you know? So basically, I killed her. Yeah. Took an orange and I just threw it, hit her in the back of the head, knocked her right out, and now she's gone. So what's your damage? Hey guys, how's it going? We do it okay. Peter, your mom told me that you got the case of the sniffles, bud. Feeling all right? No? Well, don't you worry. We are going to get you out of here in a jiffy, okay? Yeah? Awesome, yeah. All right, cool. So Peter, tell me what else is going on with you. Okay, mom, tell me what's going on with Peter. Sniffles, yeah, for sure. Sore throat, okay. Doesn't sound like fun at all, bud. Aww. And, um, so Peter, for my records, I just have to know... Are you sexually active at all? I figured you weren't. Okay, so Peter, I'm gonna now go ahead and take a listen to your heart. Yeah, okay, yeah, awesome. Cool, yeah. So, deep breath. <sighs> good, good, good. Yeah, one more deep breath. <sighs> good stuff. Okay, nice. Okay, it's not sounding too bad, okay. Well, it looks here, Peter, that you're not going to make it past today, so enjoy your last 12 hours of life. And, Mom, that's going to be $847. Hand sanitizer, anyone? Is it just me? Or is the TikTok for you page a little... dry these days? Like, it's just a whole lot of swearing from Euphoria and Encanto. Which I'm not complaining about that, but... What's what's going on? Oh, why do I hear a knocking at my door? Oh, you must be Gerald. You're interviewing with me today? Yeah? Oh, cool. Nice. So, everyone here calls me Georgina. But unfortunately, you aren't everybody. You are nobody. So you can call me... Ms. Smith. Have a seat. Okay, so it looks like you are applying for the cashier position today. Cool. Nice. Nice. Did you bring a resume with you? Oh, you did? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, wow. Pretty extensive resume you got here. Okay, Miss Girl. Um, your last name is Steinfeld. Does that mean that you are Jewish? That is it. Oh, but it looks like you got your bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees from Harvard University. Very impressive. And you have 10 years of work experience. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like you qualify to work with us here at Target. Goodbye. Catherine? As in Catherine from middle school? I literally haven't seen you in forever. Seriously, like, what is time, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Catherine.
for me. I just wanted to reach out to you today about a fabulous opportunity that will literally change your life. <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. So uh, let me show you something. Um, no, this is not hemorrhoid cream. This is the most life-changing shampoo you will ever use in your life. It changed my life, so it has to change your life. Since I started using the shampoo, no boy ever ghosts me anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. So I thought that you would be a great addition to the Hair Heaven family. Yeah, you can start selling this, make some profit. What do you say? <laughs> um, I bullied you all through middle school, and we actually had to get our parents into the guidance counselor's office with us because I punched you in the face, and I also tripped you multiple times in front of your crush. But this hair stuff will change your life! Mm, hey guys, what's up? I have a soccer practice, good? Yeah, oh, hey Miguel, what's up dude? How's your mom doing? Good? Yeah. Josh, get your feet off the back of the chair, dude. Come on, have some manners. I literally just cleaned this car out yesterday, okay? How would you like it if I put my feet on your face? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, guys, yeah, I had the longest day ever at work today, okay? So we're just going straight home, okay? Yeah, all right. So, she's doing okay? Yeah. Um, you want to stop at Wendy's for dinner? <laughs> Josh, I literally had this conversation with you yesterday. We're not stopping for dinner because I am exhausted at work. I have no health benefits. Your father is about to divorce me. Um, Miguel, it was your idea to get Wendy's for dinner tonight? <laughs> I wonder who told you to say that. Okay, well, if we're getting Wendy's for dinner, I get nuggies, you get nuggies, but Josh gets no nuggies. <laughs> All right, yeah, you guys, what is up, North Hill High? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Wow, yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah, you guys, yeah. It's Monday morning, we need to wake up, you guys. Okay, okay I'm kidding, I get it, I'm kidding, totally kidding. Not long ago, I was a student in school, cracking the books open, just like you guys, okay. All right, okay, so speaking of books, who knows what we're here to talk about today? Yeah, okay, guys, obviously you guys know who I am. Yeah, okay, so we're, but you know, we're here to talk about my latest book that you guys had to read in your English classes. Yeah, Nancy's Nutsack. Yeah, so obviously we all know what the book is about, right? So, but just to refresh, you know, Nancy's family owns the nut factory, yeah? But unfortunately, it starts to, you know, not do so great because of COVID. This book, ladies and gentlemen, does take place in 2020, obviously. Yeah, so, so the company goes down due to COVID. They start to shut down. But thanks to Nancy, she saves the day, right? She finds the last nut sack in the factory and saves the day. Yeah, okay. Does anybody have questions so far? Have any of you guys thought of a New Year's resolution yet? Oh, cool. Nice. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> well, if anyone was wondering what my New Year's resolution is, it's to go to the gym every single day. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm trying to lose three pounds. Just, I'm just way too jiggly, you know? It's like so gross. <laughs> I said, I'm trying to lose three pounds. What's that, Susan? Oh, you're trying to offer me an alcoholic <coughs> beverage? Mm, I could never drink that Satan juice. So I'm just going to stick with good old... H2O, you know, it really mm, keeps the pounds down, right, you guys? I mean, like I said, I am trying to lose three pounds! Derek and Nancy, you guys are just too cute. You guys are so lucky to have someone to kiss on New Year's Eve! It's such a shame that nobody would want to kiss me on New Year's Eve, probably because I'm too ugh, jiggly. <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm on my journey to lose three pounds! Hey, Bobby, yeah, just give me one second, man. I gotta get a front hug. Luke! Again! What's up, Luke? What could you possibly need this time? Oh, man. Oh, her gift card is not working. <laughs> Let's see about that. All this time that I taught you during training about gift cards. <sighs> All down the toilet. <laughs> Ma'am, can I please see your gift card? Thank you very much. Luke, come here. Look at this, buddy. Did you, did you click on the gift card button? Oh, you did. Well, clearly you did. Every single time. Um, I'm so sorry, ma'am, but it appears that there are insufficient funds on your gift card. What? No, 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 don't you dare apologize. We need to apologize for all of the trouble that Luke has given you today. So here is a free gift card on us. <laughs> Thank you so much. You come back now. <laughs> and Luke, how about you meet me in my office before the end of your shift so that I can have a word with you? Coming, Bobby! All right, class, let's proceed with question three. Uh, how about Natasha? Yeah. Um, Natasha? Where's Natasha? Does anybody know where she is? Oh, she went to the bathroom. A little bit ago. <laughs> it's uh, been some time since Natasha has gone to the bathroom. It's a little concerning. Everyone, heads down! Daniela, come here for a second. Hey, girlfriend, can you do me a favor, you know, and check on Natasha? I just need to make sure that, you know, she's okay. <laughs> it's a little concerning how long she has been in the bathroom. <laughs> just gotta make sure that she's not 
fooling around. Thank you, Daniela. Okay, class. Heads up. Let us proceed with question three. So, if you did the homework correctly, you should have gotten up. Oh. Wait, hello, Daniela. That was fast. Um, Natasha is vigorously throwing up in the toilet. Well, guess I have to call her mother then. <laughs> Hope it's not COVID. Anyways, kids, back to question three. So, hey, Jennifer, make sure to tell them exactly what I told you. That we have 17 prescriptions backed up today. Yeah, actually, tell them 34. Okay, like, ugh, what do you want? I mean, how can I help you today, ma'am? You are here to pick up a prescription? Okay. Name. Susanna Williams. Strange name. Well, unfortunately, ma'am, we are a little bit backed up today, so you won't be getting your prescriptions for at least a few more hours. And, oh. Um, the pharmacy called you two hours ago and told you that your prescriptions have been ready for the past three days, so you should come today to pick them up? I wonder who told you that. I bet it was Jennifer. Okay, ma'am, let me check in the back. Well, Miss Susanna Williams, you are in luck, okay? So here is that anal cream, and here is that hemorrhoid lotion, and this is for that lice that is growing in between your armpit hairs. Get out. All right, guys, we doing okay so far with the test? Yeah, anybody have any questions at all? Yeah, no? All right, love to hear it. Okay, Jacob, do you have any questions? No? My man. Brittany, you okay, girlfriend? Yeah, cool. Love to hear it, sister. Okay. All right, um, oh, Marcus. Okay. Hey, hey, bud. What's up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can totally go over it together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in this problem, yeah, you got two footballs, right? But we're technically adding football. Oh, oh, hey, hey, Brittany. Do you need something at all for me? Oh, it's getting a little warm in here. Yeah, I totally agree. I'll have to check on that AC for you, but I've really got to help out your classmate Marcus before the end of the school day. Okay. So give me one second, and I'll help you out. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Right. Oh, sorry, Marcus. Okay. Cool. So we got two footballs. Hey, buddy, I miss you more than anything in the world. Hey, why don't you go ahead and wait in the car, buddy, okay? I am right behind you. Give me one second. Okay, okay. Hello, Gregory. We meet again, don't we? How's it going? Oh, fabulous and amazing. The best you have ever been in your entire life? Well, that can't possibly be accurate because I used to be your entire life. You got a promotion at work and you proposed to Monica? Are you Gregory? Um, am I seeing anybody? Well, I have a few potential gentlemen on my roster. But that is none of your concern. I am taking my son home with me for the holidays. And you and Monica have a wonderful, happy new year. <laughs> Gregory. <laughs> and just so you know, Monica has cables. <laughs> Brittany, I literally have no idea what to do. Oh, hi, hi, good, good, thanks for asking. So, okay, so come here for a second. Okay, so this can be just like our little secret, but I've never been here before, and like reading this menu is like reading Chinese to me. Okay. Uh, um, it's because this is a Chinese restaurant. Oh, that makes sense. Why didn't you tell me, Brittany? <laughs> okay, so what's good here? The lo mein. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Okay. Um, oh, it's, it's noodles. Um, yeah, I'm not like a noodle person per se, but I, mean, I guess we can try it out, right? Uh, um, you don't do samples here? Oh, right, I, I knew we weren't at Costco. <laughs> okay, honestly, I'm just gonna be like five more minutes, okay? Yeah, I just, I, um, okay, just one more question. Do you guys have chicken nuggies here? Hi, peasants! How are we all doing today, me amigos? What's that, Ashley? Um, we're supposed to be taking our notes with pencil and paper? Yeah. Miss Williams! Unfortunately, since I'm not poor like the rest of the class, I did not bring this, what, what's it called? A pe pen, pe pe pencil and paper. But instead, I brought my jazzy new MacBook Pro by Appel. Can I use this instead? Fabulous. <laughs> what, Ashley? Oh, we're supposed to be taking notes on the Civil War and not Algebra 1? Um, whose father has six islands? That's right, not yours. Hi, my name is Jess Val Ortiz, and this is my impression of four o'clock, wallow and shelf pretty, four thirty, stare into the abyss, five o'clock, solve world hunger, tell no one, five thirty, jazz jazz jazz, six thirty, dinner with me, I can't cancel that again, seven o'clock, wrestle with my self loathing, I'm hooked, paint, 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 double hate. <gasps> Entirely. Tick tock, tick tock. 
jumping at the Christmas time more than me Blast this Christmas music! It's joyful and triumphant. Lauren! I said enough, okay? You snuck out on Friday night to go hang out with your friends that aren't even gonna be your friends the second that you graduate from high school and go to college, okay? And you betrayed both me and your father. You have lost our trust. So that means that you are grounded for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Ain't that right, Steven? <laughs> Um, Stephen, <laughs> I said, ain't I right? Oh, you understand why Lauren would sneak out with her friends? Because you used to do that when you were her age? You little delinquent! Well, since you're siding with your daughter and not the woman you married, you know what that means? You sleep on the couch, you go to your room, and I am out of here! And just so you two know, I am not making you dinner tonight. Okay, that is on you. So no chicken marsala from me. Okay, that is looks good. That is looks good. This can't be. No, 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 no. Jeffrey, can you please come to my desk for a moment? I need to talk to you about something. So, Jeffrey, I was just reviewing your test from yesterday. And the good news is, everything is correct on your paper. <laughs> the bad news is, there's no work. Care to explain? <laughs> because you just did all of the work up here in your cranium? Well, aren't you just special? Well, unfortunately, being special isn't going to allow you to pass the test. So what you're going to need to do is sit right next to me, take this pen, and write down all of your work. And if you have any questions, I will be right here. <laughs> Jeffrey, why aren't you moving the pen? <gasps> then I'll just take that, and you'll go sit down right now. Are you laughing so heavily at your phone? A little too much laughter for my liking, Jared. Let me see it. Jared, let, let, let me see the phone. You are clearly hiding something from me, Jared. Oh, you're not hiding anything from me at all? Well, then in that case, let me see the phone. Thank you. Um, what is this group chat? Guzzle my nuzzle 69? Oh, it's your chemistry group chat so that you and your friends can go over the answers for the test next week? Very educational. Nuzzle my nuzzle. Uh, who is Sarah, Brittany, Jade, Susan, and Monica? Because they all seem to be your best friends on Snapchat. You got game, my friend. More game than your father ever had. Stay out of trouble. Yeah.